Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm back from vacation and so I get back into making my videos. I had a request for one that is the full front envelope idea that I got from another YouTuber that I have. If you want to check out that video, I will try to remember to leave the link. I have to see. We have been having our internet went down for a week before I left. Oh, it's been crazy. Uh, anyways, so we have a 5x7 envelope, and essentially what we're going to do is decorate the sides of the envelope, and then, then we're going to make some flaps that open up. And you can do this in any theme, you can do it with any color. I just grabbed this one because it went with my Prima. I went on vacation up north to uh, the UP, actually, and the colors were just beautiful. And so I have a 5x7, or a envelope that fits a standard five by seven card so the actual envelope is seven and a quarter by five and a quarter like this so I cut a piece of paper down fit on top of that so we're just gonna start by going ahead and gluing that down and then this will serve base for all of the things that we're gonna do now for this side the original envelope that I used had a straight um, thing there and this one has a, so we're going to have to do a bit of a tracing. Then you need a piece that flips. You need a piece that flips up and then you need two pieces or one piece that flips out and then a pocket. Not that you have to do it this way. So I used, I had the journaling card set. Oh look, I've got the name right here. Uh, Amber Moon. That came out last year I think. One of those which you could use paper from the paper pad. And what you want, I'm going to have to trim that just a bit I think make that a bit shorter here um, and then my other side and it's got this sort of antique washi thing there so I'm just gonna see here how many. and then I'm just gonna use a circle punch to go ahead and make a little that way our pocket is um, you know easier to slip things into okay and then this is going to go like this. Make your hinge for this. So this is the thing that is, I got paper everywhere, don't I? Grab like a little strip that's an extra piece, like this one is, and as long as it's the same size, and then you can go ahead and score down the middle. That's going to be our hinge. So what we're going to do is glue that down and then that'll open and close so we can go ahead I think I'm thinking too hard when I made the first one and showed it to you on the video I just was putzing around <laughs> now that I'm having to think about it I'm probably being more confusing all right so we're going to glue that okay so you see how that's going to work that is going to be our hinge And then when you open it, you will be able to open it like that. Then we're going to put a pocket in here. But my original one, I put parchment there. So I made the pocket out of parchment, which I liked. I like how that looks. I like the polka dots around there. So we're kind of making a backing paper here, if that makes sense. Depending on what paper you're using, you may not have to do this step, obviously. Shorter. That would be better if I wanted that shorter. And then you can tuck tea bags in here, you can tuck ephemera. That is not sticking down very well. So that's one flap. Then we have our little pocket over here. So we're going to glue these three sides down here. Do this all year round with whatever paper. So basically, we're taking the envelope, we're covering it. We made ourselves a hinge, we made ourselves a flap, we made ourselves a pocket here, and a pocket here. I'm not going to go and decorate all of this. The decorating part is up to you. You can put, uh, I think I had another pocket here. Um, this nice bird piece here with some cursive writing. And I was going to have that be my flap there. So I'm going to measure that. That is four inches exactly. So I'll need like a four by one piece for this, for the, um, hinge, so gluing thing, so decide which side you want 
and uh, so we're going to glue it so that the little alligator mouth goes this way. Okay. And we're going to put that right there. So it's in between the hinge and the pocket. And decide which side you want. Okay, I want my bird to flip up, so I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to take this edge and line it up with the edge of that hinge so that it's glued on there. And you can put a little tab here on this to flip. You can put, uh, I think on my original one, I have some from the sticker kit or some sticker kit from one of my Prima things. I mixed and matched a little bit on that one. Okay, so there you have a, that side. So let's take a look here. When it's all closed, you're going to decorate. I would put like a hinge here. You're going to have stuff tucked in here. Let's tuck something in there for the sake of illustration. So you can go like that, or if you want it underneath the flap, you can tuck that in like that. You can put a little pocket here, or you could put pictures here. You could put journaling space. You can decorate this outside, and then this flap goes like that, and then you can put, you know, a little hinge here. Um, I also had like a metal key with some lace there as well. So let's take a look at the back side. So now you have this situation here. You can decide whether or not you want this aligned, um, or you can do some inking on here, or some stamping. Um, I think I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get my paper pad. And by the way, to keep this closed, I didn't need a magnet with mine. You could, um, you know, wrap some ribbon around here. You could put a magnet um, closure, but I, I don't know if I would do that. But um, I made sure my little latch was heavy, and it kind of weighted it down. It was fine. So uh, whatever floats your boat there. Okay, so with this one, we also want... It to cover the whole back. The only difference is, is we're going to cut out. Um, I'm going to trace on here where our little envelope thing is. And I already have this done on the same paper and I have traced this to go there. So I'm going to go ahead and erase the pencil mark and glue that down. That way you have a flap to fit your envelope whatever you're using. If you have the kind that goes straight across, it's a lot easier. <laughs> That's what I did last time, but this is what I had. I was cleaning my craft room and found this. Of course, you could always make a 5 by 7 envelope if you don't have one. Okay. Alright, so we're going to use that piece to go ahead and um, trace this. have to be as complicated as I think I might be making it look. Um, it's a matter of just decorating your envelope, you know, and, uh, but they're a lot of fun. All right, let's see how that works. Here you can ink these edges. When it closes, it'll have this on here, and then you can definitely stick a uh, piece of paper in here and decorate this. I'm not going to do that right now, but you get the idea. So you have your front with all the flaps and pockets. You, again, you can decorate this with another little pocket or whatever. Tuck spots, tuck spots. And on this side, we have just covered it in paper. And here is where you can do a lot of decoration here um, with collaging elements and things like that. Um, you know, you can cut out strips and tags and all sorts of things there. Now for this closure, um, what I did was I used a mechanism that I glued down. So you need two long strips. So I used a punch. So I have this Stampin' Up! punch here. I feel like they'll stand out a little bit. And what you're going to do is glue the ends. So you're going to put a little dot of glue there and a little dot of glue there. Lining it up right underneath on this section, you're going to do the same thing. The 
you don't want them too terribly far away. And then you're going, you have about, you know, maybe three quarters of an inch of something nice that you could put and then you can stick that through there. I might go through my die collection later and make a little bit more but see if you connect that one and then you connect this one it should be if you start down here I might go walk down the other one <laughs> getting caught on my paper there okay and then so if you put it through the two like that it makes this sort of um, shutter type thing there and then I put nouveau drops on um, I'm not gonna do it now because if it'll be wet I won't be able to finish the rest of it but towards the end of your project if you put a nouveau drop in each one of these spots it kind of makes it look like little rivets or brads are there and then you have your envelope shut and then you can um, you know, decorate all along here, put flowers, decorate this front panel. I hope that helps. I hope that wasn't too confusing. The whole idea there is uh, flaps that open and pocket and then you can decorate and add flaps and little tuck spots any which way you want. But that's the general method and I'm going to finish decorating this one but off camera because I don't know it's going to be too long. <laughs> um, and then on the back we covered it with paper and then we just made this little closure that way. When you open it like that then you can tuck things in here as well. Hope you like that guys. I hope that was helpful. If it's not, please leave a comment and I will give another go. Alright guys, thanks so much. Have a great day.